Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka, hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how to convert a 3D model in Blender into a PMX model for MMD use. Now, this tutorial is just a short version of the full tutorial. So if you are, by any chance, someone that needs full information about Blender to PMX editor, by all means, please check out the long version and more in-depth tutorial down in the description below. Um, and also, if you're someone that wants a bit more of a quicker conversion in regarding to having the rig already prepared for you for MMD use, please refer to my other two tutorials on VRM to PMX as that kind of automatically does it for you. But either way though, um, this tutorial will assume that you are someone that is already experienced with Blender and a little bit of the MMD add-on for Blender. I'm just going to quickly show you in a nutshell how to do it. Um, and again, the plugins are in the description below. You will be needing, if your model is VRM, there's a VRM plugin down below. If you're an XNA Lara model, you have to look the plugin elsewhere. I don't know about the plugin. Um, if you're a Source Filmmaker model, you'll have to use a source, uh, the Source plugin, which I actually have it over here, as you can see, for example. Um, so you'll use that. But wherever your, wherever your mall came from, basically, the point is you need the mall in here. So I'm going to quickly go to File, Import, VRM real quickly, and I'm going to load up my test chan model here, which is just a Void mall that's slightly modified uh, with AR kit blend shape. That's about it. But basically, though, this is pretty much what we're going to do. So first and foremost, you need to make sure that your 3D model is already in Blender, basically already there um, it's very important to keep in mind do not use a model that has a very complex rig if you have a model that's rigged with rigify and it has crazy constraints drivers IKs and other stuff already now unless it's the IK from like the you know from an MMD model and you just modified the mo the MMD model in blender it's a little different but if it's like a rigify rig or you use auto rig pro and other stuff like that, um, it's not going to work unless you simplify the rig. So the rig needs to be kind of like a game rig. So that way, not only you can be able to port it properly to PMX Editor, but also you'll probably have an easier time, you know, preparing the rig for MMD usage. Again, for more information about preparing the basic rig, like IKs, twist bones, other stuff, please refer to the full tutorial down below. But either way, though. Basically what we're going to do once you have your model up and ready to go, you're going to go and find the MMD add-on right here, the MMD tab. And basically here what you're going to do, right, I'm going to make this a little bigger. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to find the, but, uh, the button that says create model, which should look like this basically. Um, I think sometimes it might show up on top, but right here, mine is located down here. Basically find that button. And go ahead and give your name any name. So I'm just going to call this Test Chan. Uh, it doesn't matter what the naming is. Um, because this is going to be the Japanese name. This is English. But you can have it English entirely if that's your preference. Uh, scaling doesn't matter. You can always rescale in PMX Editor, which my other tutorial covers. But basically, you click on OK. Now, this is going to be an empty object. Now, to quickly elaborate though. This empty object is what is going to be exported into the PMX file. You need to make sure that anything that is connected to this empty object. So basically, if I were to press the G key and I move this empty around, anything that follows this empty object here, which is literally called an empty, um, anything that follows this empty will allow uh, the whatever is you know, parented or connected to be exported into PMX Editor. So, as you can see, the Void model is not connected. So we're going to need to connect this properly. How to do this? Um, now, basically right over here on the hierarchy, right? What we will need to do is we will need to take... Um, I usually start off with the armature first, but you can select everything if you want. But I'm going to start with the armature. And then I'm going to shift select the empty. So armature, then shift select. Then you're going to do control P, right? So control P on your keyboard. Then you're going to do object. And then basically click on the drop down, the little tiny, tiny arrow underneath uh, the empty right here. Like so. Uh, also make sure to delete the armature that is created with the empty object. And then uh, take everything here and then just click and drag 
from the armature to here and that is how you will properly connect it you also don't need this extra empty that the void model made but basically that's kind of in a nutshell how you would connect it i'm gonna do it one more time so that way you know you can make sure that you understand so uh step number one create model in the mmd plugin name it wherever the heck you want click on ok once you have that then you can uh, quickly close the panel here for one moment, which is the end button. Then what you're going to do on the hierarchy, this um, this area on the top right corner of Blender. Click on the super tiny arrow next to the empty object under wherever you named your character. Delete the armature that comes with that empty object. You only need this part here. You can also delete any other empty objects if your character created any. Uh, but basically you just need this one that the MMD plugin made right here. Right? Then what you're going to do, select the armature of your model, shift select the empty, control P, press on objects, I'll do it up here, uh, click on object, then take your armature, shift select the mesh right here, right, click from the armature like this, drag it to the empty, and boom, that is literally all you need to do, click on the empty object, press the G key, and double make sure that your model is moving properly with the empty object like so right so once you have this properly done you're gonna go ahead back to the mmd panel which is again the end button for properties and then what you're going to do is you're going to click uh while selecting the empty object right so make sure the empty object is selected you're going to go ahead to model and you're going to export then you're going to go ahead, find a folder um, that you want to export your model at. So I'm going to make a new one called uh, TestMMD here. I'm going to then, uh, in here in this folder, you can then name it whatever you want. I'll just name it TestPMX. I'm going to go ahead and click on Sort Materials here uh, and also allow it to copy textures. Do note for a fact, if you have any custom shaders like the M-Tune from VRM, or if you have a shader other than the principal BSDF default shader that comes with Blender, it will not copy the textures. It needs a default shader for it to work. But either way though, you just have your settings however you want. Usually I just select these two. Click on export PMX file. Then it's done basically. And then you can go ahead um, and I'm going to quickly open up PMX editor. And as you can see, the model does work. And also, I will quickly elaborate though, just really quickly. You may have it where your bones are not properly displaying because they are empty or, I wouldn't say empty, invisible bones, my bad. Uh, which you can click here on hidden bones here or invisible bones. You can quickly fix that by going to the bone tab and then selecting all of your bones here in the bone tab. And then clicking on the viz button right here and also deselecting the movement unless there are like something like the root bones right here that you may want to make them into movement but otherwise though in a nutshell that's how you can be able to prepare your model there's more i can also talk about but that is reserved for the longer version of the tutorial which you can check in the description if you need more information about preparing the rig and preparing at least the basic model at least to get it working with mmd motions i'll do my best to make more tutorials about pmx editor but otherwise though i recommend please check out learn mmd as there are official tutorials regarding um all things MMD related that I highly recommend please check out uh, it will definitely help you out a lot so definitely check that out and besides that though if you have any other questions feel free to let me know or check out my discord server if you're still struggling with issues though and again this should be just a short tutorial and just a reminder again that uh, with blender 4.0 some plugins did broke but hopefully with the dev uh, the beta version of the MD plugin, you could be able to get it to work. Otherwise, though, there should be an official uh, version for 4.0 in the future. Otherwise, though, I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership. So if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise, though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way, though, with that being said, though, hey, 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 goodbye, bye, everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye, bye.